Hey guys, how's it going today? Um, as you can tell, I got myself a new, brand spanking new to me, uh, Delta Rockwell 7 inch shaper. I've kind of always wanted one of these things and I, I've never really ran across them because although they're out there, they're in my area, they don't come up for sale a lot and when they do they're quite expensive. Um, so what I ended up doing was I I sold, if you watched one of my last videos, I had that uh, <clears throat> Grizzly lathe, a 12 by 37 and I ended up selling that. I made a couple bucks off it and I ended up buying this thing because this thing came up. So it's a, a piece of machinery I've always wanted. I've never quite known what I was going to do with it, but I, I got some ideas. So this machine is in pretty good shape. The only thing that's really wrong with it, if you can see um, my handle, my one knob is broken off the handle here, and then um, the original light, if you can see this here, it was mounted here, and then somebody put this light on, which is very similar to the original, but uh, it's a little different. They got it mounted down here, which it looks period correct for the piece, but um, you can tell, of course, that it is not the original. Uh, let me spin this guy around here and I'll back up here in a second and show you the rest of it. But I got it on this case. I'll zoom in a little bit here for you. So I got it on this, this rolling stand and I'll take a look at that quick. So that stand down there is heavier than the machine itself. This is all 316 steel. This is a plate, this is a quarter inch plate steel, 316 plate steel, and then everything on the inside is all steel. And the nice thing about this is whoever made it put these nice drawers in there so all the stuff is in there, which is kind of nice to have. Um, the only bad thing, like I said, is I bet this thing weighs three, three hundred and fifty pounds. Um, so it's not really the nicest uh, thing to move up and down stairs, but I got it down here. So uh, what I plan on doing is I'm going to take this plate off and the other side and just put some wood in there because that'll probably cut 50, 60 pounds, if not more. So there. Um, this side of the machine, another thing I had to do when I got it, uh, there's a few issues with this machine, it's pretty, I mean it's in pretty good shape, but <clears throat> somebody along the lines decided it would be a good idea to paint it, and so if you remember the other side was painted this light gray, and then they got to here and they either ran out of paint or they ran out of time. Uh, it's unfortunate because the original paint looks really nice, and I'm sure the other side looked just as nice, so now I got a two-tone machine, which I don't care. Um, you know, it looks kind of cool the way it is. Not not the two colors, but the you know, it's a nice shape and everything, so I'm not too worried about it. Another thing I had to do is the motor mount on this guy. Whoever set this up before, uh, it says in the directions in the original Rockwell manual that when you mount these motors. Be sure to line your pulleys up, and that's a pretty, you know, simple, easy thing to do. And, and if anybody's ever set up motors or pulleys, it's kind of a, a no-brainer. It's the first thing you do. But whoever did this, I don't know what they were thinking. You know, they may have changed. Well, even if they would have changed motors, it wouldn't have mattered. But um, when they mounted this base plate on there, they threaded it and tapped it, or they tapped it into this plate, and it was a half an inch off. So when I got it, I measured it out, re-drilled it, moved all four bolts over to the left, left of the machine towards the camera here, and re-tap re those screws so now my pulleys line up. And also there's some oil caps up here, the one cap on, on this side, you weren't able to get to it because there's this guard on there from the machine. Um, you know, you can't take that guard off, but why? There's a It's a pain. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, this thing's a pretty decent shape. Most of these things, you know, they don't, they never got used. Well, they did back in the day, but a lot of times they sit idle and they don't get used a lot nowadays. Uh, the guy I bought it from got it from an auction and 
whoever had it before him, I don't know, but this machine originally came out of the Rock Island Arsenal in December of 1970 because I still had the original um, surplus slip from the Rock Island Ar Arsenal with this guy, which is kind of cool. So I don't know if it made, you know, gun parts or whatever, or, you know, it might have made, you know, Rock Island, they made all sorts of stuff, different stuff. And uh, I'm not sure, too, if, if Rock Island, when they got rid of it, if they did this or if it was just like that because it never got much use, but there's still some of the original uh, oil and grease on there. Um, you know, somebody back in the day might have done that, too, but it's all that old brown oil. It's not even oil, it's like a grease. So that's kind of neat. Whoever had it uh, tried to take care of it as best as they could. And you can tell all this cabinet. Um, that was a factory made cabinet. If it wasn't a factory, not factory from Rockwell, but somebody in a factory, um, I believe made this cabinet because that's, um, when I worked in a factory, that was the type of, type of stuff that those guys, the machinists and stuff that this was their side projects. A lot of times is they'd build stuff like this and it, it ended up being, you know, most of those guys usually overkilled everything quite a bit, which is fine. And, uh, you know, in a, an industrial setting it's it's needed a lot of the time this did come with an original vice on it but after taking this apart and cleaning it a little bit this is a south bend vice on this guy uh, I know the original Rockwell ones are fairly similar but I can see a rock or a south bend stamp right on the back there and this is a nice little vice it's it looks almost brand new. There's like one tiny little nick in it, but other than that, I mean, like I said, it looks brand new. It's in great shape. Um, the box or the bed, that's in great shape too. The only thing I, I have found with this is that my little reverse button here. I'll back, back the camera out so you can see what's... My little reverse knob here. Um, I'm having some issues getting that guy <clears throat> back on there. I got a pin because the prowl is still in there. This is what reverses everything. Um, when I try to pin this in there, I can't lift it up and turn it. And I can't, I don't know, um, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. And then also, I'll turn it on here in a second. And you can see, um, I just want to make sure. I got a piece that's cut in here. I just want to make sure that I'm not too far off of where I was. Go down just a hair more. So I'll turn it on here and, and you can see it work a little bit. And then uh, you can see, watch, watch my little thing here. It works fairly well in one direction, but not in the other. And uh, another thing I got to fix yet, I haven't, I just got this thing the other day, so somebody's fine idea of wiring right there, so I'll have to redo that and I'll put a put an actual on off switch on the machine. So I'll turn it on here and check it out. So it's, it's nice and quiet and I'm gonna advance my feed here quite a bit because my feed is set really fine right now. So the problem I'm having now is that my paw isn't catching and we're not advancing on my feet. Um, if I hold it, it'll go. But I'm not quite sure. What the issue is there. But if I reverse it, I believe, I was messing with this the other day, I think it went all right in that, this direction. Maybe not. So I'm not quite sure what I got going on here. If I got a spring tension issue here, or, or what, if I got, if it's because of that. I don't know, I gotta mess with it. But, I mean, it's a nice little machine. Once I get that figured out, it should be no big deal. Um, 
if anybody has any ideas on this, please let me, let me know. I know there's a few guys out there that have machines like this and, and are quite a bit more knowledgeable than I am. I'm not very knowledgeable on these things yet, but like most machines I get, I try to become an expert on them. It doesn't always happen, but... So like I said, this I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure out why I'm not able to pull this up all the way and <clears throat> what's going on there because this is kind of I think this is most of my problem right here is getting this knob back on there to make most of this work. So there we go. Um, one more thing. I did get a few tools with this thing. I got you know a square. I don't even know if this is for this. I don't even know where that square piece would go, but I got some wrenches and stuff. And one of the cool things I got with this, which is kind of nice, is a keyway broaching, keyway cutting tool. So that's kind of cool. Uh, if you guys have never seen these, they, these just, that slips in there, that slips in there, and then you're cutting your keyway. So that's kind of cool. Um, it almost looks brand new. Williams, J.H. Williams and Company. Almost looks brand new, but I'm sure it's it's probably been used. Still in the box. So that's kind of cool. All the stuff, old stuff you get. Old box number 46. Still got the Allen wrench in there, too. So there we go. Uh, I do have, once I get this guy figured out, I do have a cool little project I've been thinking about doing for a while. And I'm plan on doing that here in the next week or so if I can get my machine fixed and uh, it's going to be a combination between my my shaper there and don't mind my mess my little rust knock mill there I got a few little things so between these two maybe that guy I don't know I'll see but I'm going to do quite a bit on this thing so um, so that's my Rockwell shaper hopefully more to come in the future uh, if you guys like my videos, please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors. <laughs> Check out my other videos. Uh, I got a bunch of other videos on a bunch of other stuff. Um, good info on there, so check it out. Check out my channel, if nothing else. So, Until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.